I'm Jennifer Lee, Admin Evangelist here at Salesforce, and I'm the host of How I Solved This, a video series where Trailblazer shares a business problem at their company and how they solved it using Salesforce. Today, it's my pleasure to talk with Mary Hagler. She is the Lead Application Administrator at Relativity, a Salesforce MVP, and also leads Salesforce Saturday in Chicago. Welcome to How I Solved This, Mary. Hi, Jen. It's great to be here. Mary, you're such an innovator and a trailblazer. I can't wait to hear how you empowered your users with Flow and Slack. Sure. There are two things I like to do before I start designing and building. I like to understand who will be consuming the data, and I like to understand where they spend their time. At Relativity, Slack is where most people live. Before we integrated Salesforce and Slack, users were cutting and pasting details between systems. Now we're proactively pushing data, eliminating the manual input, and being consistent about the data we're sharing in our Slack channels. I like your approach for understanding the data consumer. What was the business problem you were approached with, and how did you solve it? Relativity is a legal and compliance software company and data-focused at heart. Anytime feedback is collected from a customer interaction, we log a product feedback record in Salesforce for the product management team to review. The problem we were facing was not all of our users were in Salesforce and were missing out on valuable contacts. Like today's demo, by integrating Salesforce and Slack, anytime a feedback record is created in Salesforce, a post to Slack is pushed to a product specific channel. This gives visibility to everyone on the product management team from sales to engineering so they can weigh in on how to act on it. To do it, we leverage the free app exchange app, Salesforce for Slack. That sounds like a business problem many of our admins can relate to. Mary, show us how you solve this. I'm gonna show you how Relativity used Flow to solve a real business problem. I optimized the lead conversion process so users could easily convert a lead and ensure they don't have to manually transfer information between records. Let's dive into the flow. We're using an after save flow that runs on lead conversion. We're doing this because it lets us use the record IDs in that automation. This element updates the account record. We'll use the converted account ID from the lead record to set the new values on our account. I want to connect Salesforce and Slack, so I've installed the Salesforce for Slack app from the App Exchange. Once I've installed it, I connect my Salesforce and Slack instances. I also can enable custom objects. For today's demo, we're using standard objects, but note custom objects do require additional setup. In Slack setup, I can also enable custom alerts, Slack actions and components for layouts, and I can configure the channels I want to post to. Returning to our flow, we're gonna get the opportunity from our lead conversion. To do this, we're using a get component and we are using the converted opportunity ID from the lead record. Next, I wanna configure my post to Slack. Using the post to Slack action, I have to complete two fields, message destination ID and record ID. Message destination ID comes from the mapping we did in Slack setup, and record ID comes from the prior step. We're also gonna enable the message function, and we're gonna use a plain text template to customize the message that our users see in Slack. So now, when a user converts a lead, we have a message in Slack, and the account from the conversion is updated by our flow. And that's how I use Flow Builder and Slack to improve the lead conversion process and collaboration with clicks and not code. Thanks, Mary. That demo was awesome. You showed us the power of automation with Flow Builder and Slack using clicks, not code. And I'm excited to see you admins get hands-on with Flow Builder and Slack. Start off with a small basic use case, then add complexity as you get more comfortable. And I can't wait to see what you build. You can always find videos like this at admin.salesforce.com and also by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Salesforce Admins, so you never miss another episode of How I Solve This. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Awesome admin.